Hi everybody, Lori here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you featuring the Happy For You collection. And this includes a beautiful stamp set with some florals and great sentiments. There is a coordinating die set that cuts out those florals and it cuts out those larger sentiments. There's also a coordinating stencil set that allows you to color in those beautiful blooms. So I'm gonna start by stamping the blooms. One thing I like, it's one big stamp. So all the blooms are connected. And you want them that way because then it makes the stencil line up and also the coordinating die is one big die. So this makes it very easy to stencil and to die cut, bada boom, bada bing. I'm gonna stamp with Misty Coast. It's a very soft, subtle gray and onto some hammer mill cardstock. Any white cardstock will do. I'm using my Pink Fresh Studio stamp press tool to get a good even pressure and coverage. So you can see how these stamped beautifully. Now we're moving on to the stencil portion of the video. Okay, this Happy For You stencil set, I believe there are six layering stencils and I'm just gonna go in order, I believe. I don't always go in order, but I'm going in order today. And as always, Every single time I start with Sparkling Rose. I'm not sure if I cannot start with Sparkling Rose. I And I thought about it too. I'm like, Laura, come on. Start with a different color. But you know what? The heart wants what the heart wants. Okay, moving on to a little orange. A uh, little Clementine. And I'm using these little blender brushes from Pink Fresh Studio. They're just so delightful. And I just love the little case they come in. You know what I mean? And they're good for getting in little nooks and crannies when you got little little things to blend handy dandy little blender brush there okay so i've got a what is this lemon whip for the little doodads uh we're doing pink orange yellow we're basically we're working our way through the pink fresh rainbow i like to use every color that i possibly can you certainly don't have to use so many colors you could just do a color per stencil make it very easy on yourself but you know I gotta like to pack in as much happiness as I can okay doing a little marigold for the center of that bloom back to clementine uh this is stencil number two by the way so we're starting to add detail to those blooms and I'm just going a little bit heavier handed here's raspberry bliss now that color will smack you right across the face very she's potent people so watch out but man does it ever look delicious i mean i love a good punch in the face with pink you know what i mean okay stencil number three more detail again raspberry bliss i might have gone too dark too fast you know you gotta you gotta ease into the darkness that way the last stencil is really dark but uh now here we got what, persimmon i think that might be the darkest of the oranges and i'm just trying to you know get darker and darker with each uh, more detail stencil is what I'm trying to say. Okay, sometimes, you know, if you don't have a million inks to choose from, you can use the same ink just with a heavier hand and it will give you that darker shade that you desire. Okay, again with the marigold, again with the little detail blending brush. And then now we're moving on to the leaves. Gonna do a lot of different shades of leaves. Gonna do green, fresh pear. I'm also going to do a little mint, a little aquamarine, maybe a little seaside. Uh, this card's giving me fresh, springy, happy vibes, which is good. We need some starting to warm up here in Illinois. And um, Hank, Hank the Tank is jumping in the pond every single day. I can't stop it. He's a water dog. The problem I have is every time he goes in the pond, he takes his ball with him. I, ball, I buy balls by the case okay the other time i bought a bunch of he likes these squeaky dog balls do, dog balls <laughs> to play catch with in the yard and they're squeaky and he likes them last time i bought like 12 balls we're down to one and i think our neighbor dog is stealing them and also hank is jumping in the water with them i don't know where the balls are going but um i gotta find a cheaper alternative maybe tennis balls i don't i don't know but he likes the squeaky Anywho, he's loving this warm weather. He just likes to sit out and sunbathe when he can. I don't know if you heard this. I've mentioned it in some other videos. I don't know where, but my, my oldest son just came back from Germany and he brought a cat. 
Yes, he did. He also brought a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> but they only stayed for a couple days and then they had to go to a wedding. So there was a lot for mom to take in, meeting a new girl and a cat. Of course, he went off to the wedding and he left the cat here. And so it's a cutest little tabby cat, really, really sweet, but it does not like Hank. And I am trying so hard to make those two become friends. And Hank, by the way, the cat's name is Frank. <laughs> Hank wants to be friends with Frank so bad, so very, very bad. And Frank doesn't want anything to do with Hank. I feel like I'm reading a children's book, Ted and Fred and Hank and Frank. Um, but it's not working, people. I need any suggestions on how to make a dog and cat become friends. Uh, okay, so I'm using the coordinating die. As you can see, that die is one big die, and it die cuts all the blooms and all the leaves in one shebang, and it makes me happy. Oh, wait, look at this new little tool coming out soon. Pink Fresh Studio. Uh, what do you call it? One end is a jewel picker, one end is a craft pick. And it feels like in your hand, you feel like a million bucks. Okay, I'm using one of the nested arches dies. I die cut an arch out of white, popping it up on a cream card base. And then I'm just going to frame frame the uh, arch with the blooms. All there is to it. Now I'm going to stamp a sentiment also from that happy for you. By the way, the font is gorgeous. Okay, and there's lots of great sentiments there. Thanks for all you do. And of course, there are coordinating dies to cut it out. So I'm going to use that die and then take it off camera, run it through my die cutting machine. And then I'm going to pop this up right in the middle, nestle it. And then to finish it off, a few little iridescent clear drops for a little blingity bling. Again, that craft jewel picker feels like a million bucks. Okay, this card is giving me happy vibes. I just want to thank you for all you do. Thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. And thanks if you have any tips for making cats and dogs get along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.